Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be talking about the Gara Young Virgin DLC and breaking it down, but before we get into it, be sure to Shinobi Strike that like button and subscribe for more content. Alright, let's get it. Okay, so this Kid Gara DLC is dope, man. I've been loving it, I'm having a lot of fun uh, playing, me messing around with all these different builds. That's one of my favorite DLC to come out in a long time. Maybe one of my favorite DLC in the game, uh, to be honest. And it's just really good and unique, uh, like most of the DLC that's come out in the last few seasons. Uh, so it's a big dub. And I wouldn't say it's broken. It's definitely good to great, uh, but it's not like uh, breaking the game or anything. So yeah, another well-balanced DLC coming from the dev team uh, so good looking on that so let's go ahead and break this thing down so the first jutsu is the sand tsunami so this one has a foreign power a foreign range and an 18 second cooldown it says unleashes a destructive wave of sand that deals damage and slows those in its trail an additional input after the wave breaks will damage and knock back all enemies still trapped in the sand uh, so this move is it's incredible man first of all you get to ride this wave around and has like really really good controls it's not like it's uh like hard to maneuver or anything you can like turn on a dime and uh anywhere you go it leaves a trail of sand behind and it slows down enemies but it's like a legit slow not like how you get slowed from something like sand shield but it's like a slow that you would get from something like uh, the earth dragon bullets or something like the like the most crucial slow in the game so it's it's significant and then you can do the second input to damage opponents and knock them back now this this move is good it's great for base it's good for anything that's uh, objective based but uh, you can't capture bases or capture flags while you're on while you're riding on the wave uh, but it's still good for like clearing that space and making it difficult for people to move within a certain area so yeah, this is a great unique move uh, it's kind of like the gold dust but you get but you ride it and it and it well it's actually not really like the gold dust at all actually it's just like a completely new thing and there's nothing like it in the game all three of his jutsu there's nothing like them in the game it's like all completely new stuff which is super dope uh, i love to see it the second jutsu is called Sand Coffin. It has a 3 in power and a 5 in range, and it has like some really long range. It has a 15 second cooldown. Uh, so this one says creates a hand from sand that chases and restrains the enemies. An additional input upon capturing an enemy will perform Sand Burial, dealing damage. Sand Burial gains more damage with each consecutive use, but resets when the user is knocked out. So this move is dope, and it's it's completely different, so unique, uh, something that we never had anything like this in the game so first of all the move changes whether you're targeting or you're not targeting people so if you target a single person like you lock on to somebody then all four hands will chase that one person that you're locked on to but if you're not locked on then the hands will chase they'll go they'll spread out and chase anybody that's around you so it's like you can use this to 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 get one person or you can like use it to control space uh, and objectives so it's really dope Another thing, when people are captured by the sand coffin, you can hit them and they will not get knocked out of the sand coffin. So it's not like Tsukuyomi or something where if you get hit, you're just, you fall out of the, the jutsu. This one, they are stuck in that sand and you can do all kinds of damage. So there's all kinds of setups for this, all kinds of different combos, all kinds of different ways you can use ninjutsu and ninja tools and stuff to your advantage when you use this. So th this move is incredible. And then on top of all that, it gets more powerful the more people you you hit with the sand burial. And it's just like in the show when the, when the sand is collecting like the victim's blood and becoming like stronger and stronger it's crazy and it even gets darker like it's like blood stain it's this move is incredible and the range is super long like way longer than i would have thought especially for for defense type jutsu like I, like i've always said gar is either a defense type or he could be range and this this dlc is kind of like the range gar more than the just the standard defense gar uh, but we'll talk more about it because even the cast character is cool like uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that really makes you feel like gar when you play when you play this uh, dlc so the tracking uh it, it tracks pretty well but it's not like really great tracking you can you can just jump away from it or like uh, dodge it pretty easily if you see it coming but if they don't see it coming then it, it tracks it tracks pretty well and you can like duck anything you can set up uh, before you throw it but it's great on objectives but this is also just as great on combat and anything else like that or in the pit or something like that and then the ultimate is called playing possum jutsu so this one has a four in power and a one in duration so it takes a long time to get but it's not too long i'd say it's on the lower end of that one in duration 
in, I would say it has a five in power. I don't know why it says four. So it says, forcefully puts the user to sleep to merge with Shukaku. The user temporarily becomes Shukaku, replacing their normal attacks and ninjutsu with special attacks. However, their movement is restricted to certain areas for the, for the duration of the transformation. Uh, so a lot of people are complaining about this, this ultimate because of the movement aspect of it. So I think this ult is really good. It's also super unique. There's nothing even close to this in the game that that like we can do as a player. Uh, it's like just straight up becoming a boss, like in the VR missions or in barrier battle or something like that. It, it's amazing, man, because you don't really need to be very close to anybody. As long as you can target somebody, all of the moves besides the light attack will will hit people like through walls. So if you do the light attack, Shukaku will fall on the ground and do AOE damage in a big area. Uh, and then the triangle or the heavy attack will do a sand shower and you can just keep spamming it. Every time you push this triangle, a new sand shower will appear and you can just keep putting them all over the place. And then the ninjutsu becomes like the air bullets and it takes a little while to charge because he has to like suck up the sand in the air and then he and then he hits his stomach and shoots out the blast the air blast but that goes through walls and uh, it doesn't track great but it's so big and it's fast so it doesn't really need to track all that well and especially since you can spam sand shower and never and make people slow it's really easy to hit people with the only thing the only problem is, is that the movement is can be a little bit clunky but i think that that's really due to people not really knowing exactly where the all the different places that you can go are because if you try to move somewhere where you can't go in a direction you can't go it won't it won't move you but if you look on the on the ground around where you are you can see little seals all over the map and it, you can jump to the, those seals. Those are all the locations that the Shukaku can jump to. They're lit up like blue characters on the ground. So look for those, and if you need to move, you can you can move over to one of those things. But this this thing is strong. Like if especially when you're when you're doing like a some kind of objective, he will hold down an objective like nothing else. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just let the footage speak for itself. But yeah, this thing is strong. It, it, like I hope they make it a little bit easier to move around, but that's the only weakness of it. And I think that once we figure out exactly how it works or like where all the places that you can go to are, I don't think that that will really be a problem anymore. So yeah, this alt is great. Both of the ninjutsu are great. Like this this DLC is just is just amazing. And then on top of that, he comes with a new ninja tool that's also for range types. I, I just realized that when I was making this video. So the ninja tool is for range types, so I am hyped. Uh, so this ninja tool and uh, one of the new quality of life changes with the 2.50 update is that you can see the stock and you can see the time or the cooldown of all the ninja tools in the ninja, in the uh, in the end now, which is great because I've always wondered about that. Like I did not realize that all those medicines all the pills they have 30 second cooldowns like i knew they had a long cooldown but i didn't realize it was a 30 whole seconds so that was kind of crazy but the sand sh shuriken are they have uh they have two stocks and an 11 second cooldown and they're for defense types and range types so it says launches sand in the shape of a shuriken dealing damage to enemies hit and reducing their movement speed user is immune to flinches caused by certain attacks when attacking so these things do some really good damage for a ninja tool uh they kind of like spread out in an area so they're not like really all that precise but uh also when you do it you get like a little sand sh shield around you and uh, you yeah like it says you you're immune to flinching uh from most attacks and yeah they just do really good damage uh in the in 11 seconds isn't too long especially since you have two stocks of this I haven't used it on any range build yet, but I'm going to have some videos coming out with that for that uh, very soon because I'm excited to try it on, on range, but it's been, I've been loving using it. I've, I've been putting that on every one of my defense builds lately because it's really strong and uh, yeah, and it goes through a lot of jutsu too. Like, so yeah, this thing is, these things are powerful. I'm, I'm really glad that it's for range types too, because then this makes it this deep guard DLC feel like yeah it's a defense DLC but it's also range too because like you can make some good def defense range builds and then you get the ninja tools also for range types so yeah man I'm loving this DLC the cast character is dope too like he's got sand bullets in his combos the way he guards he puts up an actual sand like uh, guard like not a full body sand shield but he guards the way he does in the anime with the sand in front of him and all of his moves just look dope like because you just really feel like gar like he do he's doing all this stuff that uh, like his his heavy attack 
in the air puts a puts a sand shield around him so you really just feel like yeah you're a real you're the you got the ultimate defense you really feel like ultimate defense guard it's incredible man like yeah i'm i'm more hyped about this dlc than i thought it was going to be because it, it, it was when it first came out well gar is my dog he's one of my favorite characters uh in the in actually just in general not even just in naruto but um when it first came out i was like oh you know they're doing some more old characters we already have a gar in the game but this is this dlc is hype like <laughs> definitely try this out because it's a lot of fun it's really good and it's super unique it's come something brand new so it, all the whenever they come out with something like this it like really breathes life into the game because this is stuff that we haven't seen before so yeah man uh, i'm loving this dlc so far let me know what you guys are thinking of it what uh, what kind of builds are you guys coming up with i'll definitely have some build videos coming up i had i already had plans on uh doing some stuff when the gold dust came out but now it's even better so uh stay tuned for a whole bunch of cool uh, cool build videos um but yeah let me know what you guys are thinking about this dlc especially about the alt that seems to be the only like controversial thing where people are complaining about but everybody seems to like the uh, ninjutsu pretty well uh, but yeah let me know like what build you guys are doing what you like about this D dlc what you don't like and yeah guys uh be stay tuned because we're going to be covering all the stuff in the patch notes in more depth as the as the in the coming weeks so yeah i'll see you guys soon don't forget to shinobi strike that like button and subscribe for more content everybody stay safe out there peace and love